We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Good source. Right. Um, vitamin C and magnesium are also very important in the conversion. They aid in the conversion of uh, T4 to T3. Mm. How important is the selenium aspect? Selenium aspect is crucial because the actually the selenium actually helps activate the enzyme that, that that causes the conversion of T4 to T3. So it's very crucial. Selenium. All you gotta do is eat four Brazil nuts a day, and you get. I mean, Brazil nuts are the highest source of selenium in, in the planet. Wow. You get like if you eat if you get if you eat like four Brazil nuts, you get like 400 micrograms of selenium, which is huge. Wow. If you, most supplements in the stores are like less than that. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so all you gotta do is eat a few Brazil nuts every day. And that's it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. so you lot. So for people that have gotten their thyroid completely taken out, or like like you have, yeah. I mean, is there any hope? Is there a possibility of to not have to be on anything at some point, or is that... in the raw food world, I've, o I've only heard of one person. Uh, I forgot her name, but uh, Clement Gianni mentioned her to me, and actually uh, we emailed each other uh, who who had her thyroid removed as well, with or destroyed. Mm-hmm. There's really you're kind of stuck, you know. Once once your thyroid is gone, you gotta take something. You, just, you can't just be without thyroid because you know you can't be without thyroid hormones. It's impossible. Right. You know, you'll, you'll die. You know? Yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of you know for me it's kind of a you know kind of a bummer that you know I'm stuck now. I gotta take something. You know? Right. And being a raw foodist and being into natural you know lifestyle is kind of a downer, but you, know, you got to do the best I can. You know, i got to work with the best, you know, yeah. the best I can. You know? Wait, you're saying this girl <clears throat> doesn't take anything? Uh, I think she's taking Synthroid, or, or I'm not sure what she's taking. Mm -hmm. I, really, I didn't really get to talk to her too much. Uh, but if you still have your thyroid, you, you can you can completely cure it. Yeah. Just by changing your diet, you know, doing, doing a, you know, eating, eating seaweeds and, and iodine. And you know, eating the right foods and, and, and soy, soy is one of the worst offenders in the diet. But it's not just diet; it's also um, uh, other chem toxic chemicals. You know, yeah, that can actually affect uh, your thyroid and, and the conversion of T4 to T3. Uh, these things called hel uh, what are called halides, like bromides, and uh, even mercury, and uh, a lot of things that are in, in plastic, things that are made out of plastic, like computers. Uh, emanate these these toxins, you know, so, so it's good. That's why the raw diet is a blessing because you, you always, especially if you cleanse a lot, if you do, you know, if you do colonics and you juice and juice feast, you always staying ahead of the you know, detoxing. So it's important to detox. Yeah, yeah. It helps a lot. I mean, my my naturopath told me that, you know, if it wasn't for this, the way I eat, I'd probably be like in really really bad shape. <laughs> 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 so it's kind of a blessing, you know. But, there's still some improvements you know, that I can, I can make. So where did you start? You started studying all this stuff like hardcore recently, right? Yeah, hardcore, yeah. And I'm totally into it. I'm totally focusing on it. Where did you learn? Like, where did you go? Uh, a lot of it on, on, on different websites on the internet. And, and some there's some ya thyroid Yahoo groups. Uh, mm. And then I've read a lot of books. Uh, there's some great books out there you can read. There's, there's one by Broda Barnes called uh, uh, The Unsuspected illness thyroid the unsuspected illness uh -huh. there's a there's a book called um, managing managing thyroid disease by uh, I think overcoming thyroid disease by dr. David Brownstein uh -huh. and I think he's in he's uh, in Michigan he's a he's a conventional doctor that actually realized that he didn't want to do medicine anymore and he wanted to get into holistic medicine and he's he's one of the most popular doctors in the country when it comes mm -hmm. to adrenal issues, hormonal balance, and I think you know a lot of a lot of people, raw foodists, they should look into, you know, checking their hormones and seeing how they're doing. Mm. Especially long-term raw foodists, you know, they've been doing a long time, right? Like Ten years or more, because you could have adrenal fatigue and not even realize it. Right. Yeah. You know? uh, like for example, me. I, I mean, I did this fall. I did a whole bunch of tests. I found out, I, you know, most of my stuff, was, my levels were normal. My B12 was normal. But I found out that my iron was kind of low, and I had juice, I had green juice every single morning. I've been doing this for five years, just, you know, I drink, a lot, I eat a lot of greens. Uh, my, my vitamin D3 was low. It was as low as, as you know, you can think, I mean, almost zero.
You surf. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, you know, so I mean, you can get you can get vitamin D from the sun, you know. But if you're in an office all day long, I mean, you don't get to be in the sun as much, you know. And when you're in the sun, it has to be at the right time under the perfect ideal conditions for your body to actually, uh, you know, utilize the sun to produce vitamin D3. Mm. So. <laughs> Crazy. I think uh, for I would I would recommend that most long-term foodists they, they get their you know some blood work and get, see how they're doing just to yeah. just to know where they're at. You know? Right, right, right. Because you can go years feeling great and amazing and you don't know what's really going on on a cellular level or on your on your blood. Right. Yeah. I mean, Angela are going to get tested pretty soon. You, you haven't yet? I've done it here and there before. Yeah. 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 I, I, actually, I was talking to Dr. Fred Bishi uh, a lot lately, and uh, we were thinking of maybe doing, coming, doing a study with, with long-term foodists and, and doing a, a, a bunch of tests, like the adrenal tests, thyroid tests, reverse T3, and, 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 and comparing the results and seeing what, how the thyroid affects your hormones. You know? how the, how the not the thyroid, the diet, the raw food diet. You know, maybe different types of diet, like the 80-10-10 diet, the high-fat road food diet, you know. Right. Wow, I'd be, I'm into that. I'd do that. Yeah, yeah. What other resources can people look for? There's, there's a few websites that, that if you want to look in, you know, find more information about thyroid and adrenal issues, uh, one of them is stopthethyroidmadness.com. And it's, it's run by a woman named Janie Borthor. Who wrote a book called Stop the Thyroid Madness? And another another good site is called uh, Natural, no, DrBrownstein.com. It's a great site. He's got some great videos and books on his site, and, and he has a blog. And the other one will be NaturalThyroidSolutions.com, which is run by a woman named Stephanie who actually had thyroid cancer, and uh, she. Uh, she she started taking iodine and she cures cured her cancer. Wow, is this a, um are these raw foodists or anything like that or just? No, it's, they're not they're not raw food websites. So they're kind of mainstream, but they have a lot of good information. If mm. you want to really learn about about what causes your thyroid imbalances and if you want to learn about adrenal, the relationship between cortisol and thyroid. So there's a lot of good, really great information on the sites. So I wouldn't go looking for raw foods. Although some of them do do mention that you know you should eat a gluten free diet and you should eat organics. So yeah, yeah. They're a little bit aware of it, but they're they're more mainstream. But right. There's still some good information. If someone wanted to get a hold of you, if they had any questions, could they do that? Sure. Yeah. 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 For sure. How would they get in contact with you? Uh, you can call me. Uh, you can call me or email me. What's your email? Or my you email could... is uh, let's see, which I have, I have several. <laughs> so, uh, well, you, you, you can email me at, uh, at, the, at the, raw, the Raw Spirit, Enrique at rawspirit.org. Cool. Right. Sounds good. Perfect. Yeah. Enrique, it's rawspirit.org. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks for coming on. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, everybody. We've got Enrique Candioti. Raw food is for 15, 16, 12, 12, and, a half years 12 and a half years. Yeah. And we've got a couple people playing around in here. What's going on over here? I did my best to draw a picture of Sebastian. Wow, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah, good job. Wow. I don't think he Same did hairstyle. Yeah. Him, he got the hairstyle right. Yeah. I think he's drawing a thyroid. I think he is. <laughs> All right. And we've got... Angela Sexmanek. And Matt Monarch. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.